probability or proportions. If I didn't see any work on it, I don't know what you were thinking. Okay, so I can't even give you partial points back. Right? So if it's not multiple choice, I think it's, I'm expecting the grades for some partial points, and I can't give those back. I might see anything on the board on the paper. Okay? All right, so let's go through these really quick. Um, so a survey of all the people have four randomly chosen tables. That one's stratified. Stratified means you take and you divide it into, I remember right, it's you divide it into groups, okay, and then you choose, you survey the entire group, okay?
I tried to find all the possibilities. If I looked at your answers, if yours was one that um, I looked at, your, if you showed work and it showed the right work, and I went, I multiplied on my calculator on your answer, I gave you the points for it. Okay. So when I did that calculation this morning, when we did this this morning, I got two thousand two hundred and twenty nine point four five. I believe I used that one. So that would really be two thousand two hundred twenty nine, right? Okay. Are you good that, people? And again, I went through and tried to find all the possibilities of when you're of when, how you rounded it. In calculus, we would have done this one. We keep all our best places in there for the final answer. Okay. But I know we had to write the answer. All right. That one actually was better than the next one. This one was, was really awful. Okay. Um, actually, yeah, it was really awful. Right. There was hardly anybody getting this one right. Um, so it, how much is the ticket? $75, okay, so we're going to take $75. Um, we have to predict the amount of fee. The fee part can basically predict they're going to make, okay? Um, we have to take the number of cost of the ticket is $75, which is the ticket. Predict the amount of the fee part that you expect that you have to make. So, right? You need the, oh no, the number of people. Okay. Um, do we want the total number that are going to participate? Wasn't that the number in the first one? That was this number in this one right here, right? So you got to multiply that by, so when you got that, and then we did multiply it again by 0.267. Okay. When I did that calculation, I got 334,000. And because it's money, that's why it says two decimal places, right? And again, it depended upon what decimal point you used as to what the answer was, and they're all a little bit off of each other. Okay? Any questions on the predicting ones? Okay. The next one, the biggest thing that we got wrong on the next set is the standard deviation question. Okay? So, mean, median, and and actually, we'll class two, the standard deviation and the interquartile, we're having issues. So everybody get Desmos out, get those numbers into it. Okay, I'll, come, I'll put them into you so you can kind of see mine going. Let's get those numbers into it. So if everybody gets Desmos going, I'll read the numbers off so you can read me, you can type them in as I read. Okay. Just be thankful you're not having to add these by hand. My daughter, Ellie, had, when she was studying for her test, she was adding them by hand. She had like almost as many numbers as we did, and then she had to do weird subtractions off of them. And off of, she had to do some other weird calculation that I can All right, y'all there? You ready for me to read numbers? All right, 78 is the first number. Remember, we're just going to go down that next column 90, 52, 84, 88, 91, 92. 66, 88, 75, 76, um, 88, 62, 90, 78, and we should have a total of 15. So I always, oh, I know hopefully you noticed that when I was doing these with you guys. I always went back and counted, right? I just would scroll up, so I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I know that I put all of my numbers in. Okay? That's a self check. Okay? All right. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. I had you just looking at typing in the word mean, right? And now you have to type in x sub 1 using your underscore key. Okay? And there's our mean. There's not much I can do to see work on that. Right? I give you partial points back on it because we use Desmos to do the calculation. If you didn't remember that, see that little keyboard down there? We saw this yesterday. See the little keyboard? Come over here to functions. Go to stats. All the stuff we need is there. Is it mean there? Is that one of them? There's mean. Okay? So if you don't remember how to, to what it is or how to type it or how to spell it, they're all under there. Okay? All right, so that was my mean. Um, 
distribution plan for the calculations that we do with our products. Okay, does that make sense? So you can, and you can just type it the way it looks. So that's the standard deviation, which some of you are getting a 12 point something number. I'm assuming you use the wrong standard deviation. Okay. Can't you 